Hello everyone. So this week we got for you a little bit of a review of one of our favorite new gear pieces. And that is an Opener V Trident. So check it out, have a look and maybe get your own. Hope you enjoy. Alright, so you can tell it's pretty chilly, but we made the effort to go to a lake and test one of our new toys and open our V Trident. So the people who watched our series last year will know that we had the open ROV before, the old version. Now, shiny new, the Trident. And we already charged it up. We didn't put it in the water yet. So this is the first time for us. It came with a fancy remote control and also two different cables, 100 meters or 30 meters. So just for a start, we'll kick it off with 30 meters. And supposedly, this should all be very straightforward. Connect the cable to your trident. And it's really only one connector. Kind of a tripod mount thing. Nice and snug. Done. And then, just because I'm not sure if I have to pull the thing out on the cable, I will add the little safety strap. So I did actually read the instructions before. And it says, if you plan on pulling it out by the cable, So keeps the cable out of the props and this way we are allowed to do this. Okay, now as soon as you connect this, this guy fires up. Which means now we should also fire up this guy. Let's see, settings, Wi-Fi, Trident connected. Okay, so they are already talking. So we can go back. And then we open the book, book. Ah, open our V cock. Okay, easy enough. So that one says ready to dive. So let me just check. All good, all good. The battery is full. Like a fish, cool.
Tanya is rolling the cable back and As trying to bring it out. See, she doesn't last that long. And probably the drum is a lot easier than this. Even though that is already a huge improvement from the third ROV. Hail to the Austrian lakes. After testing this one and having tested a couple of different ones, so we had the open ROV before, the old version, which was rather clumsy driving. This one is very, or I find it very intuitive. It's similar to the drone that you use in the air. It is moving a lot faster, which does make it easier to maneuver in some instances. Um, obviously, just like every ROV, it's not very useful in long, leafy, sort of grow um, but like on the ships we often have bigger ROVs and I find this works a lot better not only because it is smaller but it can actually do better speed so I reckon and I still have to try that to drive it in current but I think it would behave a lot better than the big ones and when it comes to turning and just tight maneuvering it is very agile already so I think that's actually quite a good time. Very happy with it right now. Cool. And with a little bit of <laughs> Next one. And it goes. Well, I don't want to put it in the case when it's wet. It's also our nice remote controls. Maybe we should just keep it outside and drip. Yes, but then we can't look all badass when we walk back. Okay. But maybe you're right, because I think I can't get it all dry. So if you like this video, make sure to check back. We will have a bunch of more gear reviews and some other things that we keep installing and using on the boat. So make sure to keep checking on our channel. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up. And yeah, see you next time. Bye, guys.